Dr. Cat wasn't always Sunday. We grew up in the same church, Wesley and Holy Mass. And we went to school together. But for some reason or other, I had to go to Kiran High to teach. At first, I was very unhappy that they sent me there. But afterwards, I came to love Kiran High. I went there and I did the best that I could do. Among these persons, there were some very strong seven-day people. Unit Pemberton, Jeff Edwards, Ray Edwards, Annie James, Lynette Wallace. And unfortunately, I had just come from Bastia Highway. I was back late with Will and Vaughn. And I was saying, to get on Highway, I had even greater battles. And so even though we had our battles, these were some of the best times that I had. And some of the best friends that we are still friends today. And then I taught a whole heap of others. And as I look around, and I see them, I feel very proud of them, including who I understand would be your main speaker. Clever Stevens, it is the same Stevens that I know. It is the same one that I know. That's also something that I had at Kiran High School. So I'm very, very pleased and happy to hear that. And then, by some stroke of accident, I became the Minister of Health. And I go to the health unit, and guess what? I'm surrounded with Hussein, <laughs> Petronella Edwards, Clifford Griffin, and Gardena Richardson. All very vocal and prominent seven-day people who work very hard for the ministry, and I'm really happy that I've been there and been able to meet them. So again, I say I'm very happy to be here. Yesterday, again, by accident, I happened to see a match that was going to town, they say it's the Day School. Seven Day is one of the churches that I really admire. Very progressive, and I always say, whatever they're doing, since back when I was at Kiran High, they're able, unlike some other churches, to attract a very large number of young people. Whether to be coming or the camps or what have you. And the school is doing an excellent job. And they and I had a battle with Keith Lee Blanchett about this. Guy is telling me they're in football, they're in this, they're in everything. And so I was very happy to see that match yesterday. I mean, the children look wonderful. It was a really beautiful match. But what struck me most were the nurses. <laughs>
that we just tell them to brush over. But we need to encourage them and show them that they don't need necessarily to be that. I don't like to use the word stress, but stress. But may, very often a lot of it comes out of illness. For example, a family member may be diagnosed with cancer. And the next thing you know, because of the costs, all your funds are depleted, all the life savings gone in with the, the cancer treatment for this one family member. And next thing you know, that family is sleeping into poverty. And the other members are going to all this emotional strain. And so he needs our support. And so the emotional side of health is so very important. As I said, health costs are phenomenal. What you're really doing is so important because it will help us to save some funds from health. Right now we're spending a phenomenal amount of money as a country on health because people don't focus on wellness. And so very often when they reach us, each of reach us they're in a very advanced stage of an illness which costs so much to keep them alive. Only, only recently, the ministry had to come up with like 10,000 US dollars just to, to send one gentleman out on an air ambulance. And this is one person. 10,000 US dollars just for one person to go on an air ambulance. And so you understand the, the issues we have. And so what you're doing is so, so very important. Again, I notice you're tackling non-communicable diseases which together are um, the ones that are responsible for most of our deaths. In fact, 70% of our deaths as a result of NCDs. And NCDs are mostly preventable. So that is another reason why your Springs of Life Wellness Seminar is so important, because you can prevent this by a simple lifestyle change. I'm saying simple, but it's not that simple. So it's not something you could do just once and leave it. You have to constantly, 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 constantly change your eating habits, do some exercise, so I'm happy about the height, and so on, so that we can be able to keep ourselves well enough, and I'm happy about the blood pressure checks. These things are so very important that people just bypass and only when someone gets ill then we revert into them. So again, I want to commend Seven Day and commend Dr. Katyn, whoever else is responsible for having this week of wellness, of focusing on wellness, focusing on health. I think we you're partnering well with the Ministry of Health in this regard, being very progressive and being advanced in your thinking. So I want to commend you and commend the church and thank you for inviting me here this morning just to say these big words to you to encourage you and to let you know you're doing the right thing and if there's any way in which you think the ministry can help, we are here available. Thank you so much.